Mazda 3 of the second generation of the BL series, the one that was produced in 2009 to 2013, is structurally different from its predecessor of the VC generation, not fundamentally. And in terms of reliability, all Treshki of the second generation, like the cars of the previous series, are made in Japan, but both the quality of painting and the resistance to corrosion have become better. The rear wheel arches do not rust after four to six years, as before, and their felt wheel arch liners of the new design no longer fall out over time. At first, the new Matryoshka inherited a vulnerable rear door glass guide, sometimes susceptible to corrosion after just a couple of winters. But since 2010, the Japanese began to cover the bar not with paint, but with a thin plastic film. Of the remaining weaknesses, only the windshield wiper leashes that rust after three to five years and the still overly delicate windshield are upsetting. If you save on wiper brushes and irrigation fluid, it scratches and tarnishes in two to three years. The paint is rubbed and peeled off in the trunk area, for hatchbacks at the point of contact with the spoiler, and for sedans, with rubber seals of the opening. Another problem of the past is fog lights, which previously could be attributed to consumables. Their glass cracked even from microscopic pebbles or splashes that fell on the included headlight. Another thing is bad, the relay for turning on the fog lights, unsuccessfully located under the front bumper, fails, the contacts corrode from dampness. And, alas, during long work, the lamp cartridges in the rear lights are still melted, since the ceiling lamps themselves have ceased to suffer. But for the head optics, a similar problem has disappeared, now the connector is connected directly to the lamp. But the familiar problems with fogging headlights and their washers remain. However, if before the washers flowed or broke due to the fragility of the structure, then the second Matryoshka had their weak point, an electric motor, which other owners managed to change more than once during the three years of the warranty. The creaking of the front seats in the first cars produced before mid-2009 is a minor dirty trick. Moreover, it is easily corrected by applying grease to the seat height adjustment bar. It's much more unpleasant to be left without seat heating in cold weather on cars older than mid-2010. Later, the design of the seat cushion was changed, and the heating fails less often. But even in more recent specimens, the weather in the house can be ruined by an unreliable motor in the heater. Just don't confuse its failure with the noise of debris that can reach the fan blades, and a frail recirculation damper electric drive gearbox clicks from the bowels of the front panel after five, six years will tell you that soon it will not be possible to hide from the child of some kamas. The rattling of the resonating body of the ceiling light for lighting the front of the cabin can be annoying, and the most curious surprise of the Matryoshka electricians is a miscalculation with the thermal mode of the information system screen. Do not be alarmed if, with intensive windshield blowing and the maximum temperature of the stove, the display suddenly dims and becomes stained. Cooling down. He comes to his senses and does not need to be replaced. When looking for a matryoshka older than February 2010, don't forget to sniff. Does it smell like gasoline? This means that the previous owner managed to miss the revocable campaign to remake the fuel system. Initially, for the sake of simplicity and low cost of maintenance, the fine fuel filter was made remote, with the proposed replacement every 30,000 kilometers. He stood next to the gas tank in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B right rear wheel, and the thin metal body could quickly leak due to corrosion. As a result, everyone returned to the old, less convenient, scheme with a filter designed for 120,000 kilometers, built into the Bosch submersible fuel pump. It is picky about the purity of the fuel and without thorough filtering of gasoline it will go on strike after 100,000 kilometers. Engines. Both motors and not the most frisky 1.6 liter, 90% of cars on the market, and the nimble 2 liter, 4, 9% of cars, are samples of longevity. Capital before 200 to 300,000 kilometers happens only to negligent owners. Usually, after a run of 200,000 kilometers, you have to spend money on the timing chain, and after 100 to 120,000, manually, by selecting the thickness of the supports, adjust the valve clearances and change the drive belt. Of the minor mischiefs of the Junior Motor 1.6, oil leaks through oil seals or joints with sealant instead of gaskets are also known from the first three rubles, first of all, through the pan connector. If arrhythmia appears at idle, check the intake manifold gaskets. Occasionally, plastic dampers for changing the length of the intake begin to act up, their knocks should be alerted when the speed increases, and you have to buy a manifold assembly. And the drive belt tensioner roller is defenseless against dirt. In a 2-liter engine, 
another damper is more sensitive to pollution, a throttle. Immediately behind it is the tube of the exhaust gas recirculation system, which regularly supplies carbon deposits to the assembly. And without regular cleaning every 25 to 30,000 kilometers, the engine speed begins to float, and in especially neglected cases, the throttle can also wedge. But what about the Mazda 3 MPS? The 2.3 turbo engine, also known from the CX-7 crossover, has a rare turbocharger, $2,500 that lives up to 100,000 kilometers. And the timing chain drive cannot boast of durability. With a run of only 60 to 80,000 kilometers, the chain can stretch, and tapping after starting the engine indicates the imminent death of the intake phase change clutch. Transmission. The key to the health and longevity of Matryoshka automatic transmissions is the indispensable replacement of the transmission oil officially filled for the entire service life, along with the filter, every 50 to 60,000 kilometers and exclusively with the original one. Paired with a 1.6 engine, the four-stage veteran FN4A EL, which has been installed on many Mazda and Ford cars since 1999, has been upgraded countless times over its long life and practically does not cause trouble on the second three-ruble note. Even the backlash in the seat of the left drive in the differential, which on the machines of the first generation after 100 to 120,000 kilometers led to an incurable oil seal leak, almost ceased to occur. The main echoes of past ailments are jerks and jerks when shifting gears, especially to even ones. This means that the seat on the rear cover caliper has worn out from excessive loads and the oil pressure has decreased. Created on the basis of the FN4A EL4 speed gearbox, the FS5A EL5 speed gearbox for cars with a 2 liter engine migrated to the 3 ruble note from the older Mazda 6 sister of the first generation, but with a healed sore, more wear resistant brake band, through the fault of the old one there were jerks when switching. It is curious that the fate of the five-speed mechanics of the F35M are largely depends on which of the motors it assists. With the younger 1,600 cubic centimeters box, it retains exemplary clarity for years, and worries come down to updating the clutch after 100 to 120,000 kilometers. But with an assertive two-liter unit, you can easily finish off the synchronizers on the secondary shaft, which is why it is difficult to switch before the 100,000th run. Suspension. The survivable chassis as a whole has not changed dramatically with the change of generations. The spoiling rear suspension levers have been modernized, and instead of the previous frivolous 40 to 60,000 kilometers, their revision on the BL3 ruble note is required no earlier than after 120 to 140,000 kilometers. Forgotten and troubles with not very durable thrust bearings of the front struts. But the Matryoshka still does not favor broken roads. Wheel bearings, $40 each, are willing to endure bumps no longer than 50 to 80,000 kilometers, rear shock absorbers, up to 80 to 100,000. No more, as a rule, can withstand and tie rods at a price of $30, and stabilizer bushings creak in winter, even in good condition. From the list of weak points, the stabilizer struts were first inherited. The first to knock after 40 to 60,000 kilometers are the rear ones, but since 2011 the modernized ones rarely require replacement before 100,000 kilometers. New in the history of the disease is the rear silent blocks of the front levers of pre-styling cars older than 2011, before they were not let down by cracking or peeling rubber after 60 to 90,000 kilometers. Steering. And what about the other misfortune of the previous three rubles, an unreliable electro-hydraulic power steering paired with a two-liter engine? At first, there was even a recall campaign to replace a unit with a pump that was turning off. Second-generation cars are equipped with EGUR without exception, but if you monitor the condition of the oil and change it after 50 to 60,000 kilometers, the pump of a modified design, $900, does not bring problems. Light echoes of the past eager vicissitudes can only affect specimens older than mid-2010. It happens that they have lines flowing in places of rolling or at the entrance to the rail. By the way, the steering mechanism itself is quite reliable, and when tapping occurs on bumps, sometimes after only 30 to 50,000 kilometers, it makes no sense to run to the store for a new one, the unit will last more than one year.